Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking a super easy steam fish with ginger and soy sauce. So let's start cooking. Now we prepare our ginger paste. In your chopper or blender, add in 70 grams of young ginger. Why I'm using young ginger is because it's less spicy. If you're using old ginger, please reduce the amount, maybe to half. To help it blend, I'm adding in 20 milliliters of water. We need to season the ginger a little bit, half a teaspoon of salt, as well as half a tablespoon of sesame oil. Put the lid on and we'll proceed to blend this. Let's have a look. Push the sides down. Now if you do not have a blender or a chopper, you can actually just chop this. It's fine too, no problem. We'll need to fry this in a while. But let's just chop this up a little bit finer. Right, something like this will be good. This is what we want. Not too fine. We can still see a little bit of a roughly chop up ginger this way. Now we'll go and fry this. Now we'll fry our ginger using medium low heat. Add in a little bit of oil. We do not need to wait for the oil to heat up. We just pour in our ginger paste now, or chopped ginger. Give it a good stir to bring out the fragrance. The reason I'm frying this is because I want to bring out the fragrance as well as to cut a little bit of the spiciness away. Right? Medium low heat will be good. Slowly fry them until you can really smell them. You just need to fry this for a couple of minutes, maybe two minutes or so. This will be good. If you do not have access to ginger or you don't have it in your home or it's, if it's really expensive, I have another recipe for stem fish which I'll put in the description box below and you can click on it to see how I steam our fish the other way. I love ginger and I eat quite a fair bit of ginger actually, especially for someone like me that is a little bit aged, not very old, but a little bit aged, right? It will bring out the, we call it the, the si qi in us, so that we will not suffer too much from rheumatism and stuff like that. You can slowly start to smell the beautiful fragrance. I reckon I need to fry this for another minute or so. Now I can really smell the beautiful fragrance coming out from the ginger. We'll add in the rest of ingredients to make our ginger sauce. Add in one tablespoon of oyster sauce. One and a half tablespoon of light soy sauce. 60 milliliters of water. Half a teaspoon of sugar. As well, a little bit of pepper. Now all we have to do is just mix them all up well together. Once they're mixed up well like this, we'll turn off the heat. And we'll rest this until they are cool enough to be placed on top of our fish. I'll see you back in a while. Now we are going to assemble the dish before we steam the fish. On the base of the plate, just place a few pieces of spring onions, the stem of it, so that the fish can be cooked evenly. For the rest of the spring onion, I've actually cut them like this and soak them in cold water. If you want to know how to do this, I'll leave a link in the description box so that you will know how to do this. Just arrange the spring onion properly underneath like this. We need to prop the fish up a little bit so that it will be cooked evenly. I have with me over here, a beautiful piece of fish fillet. This is from a white snapper, approximately 350 grams. Just place it on top. You can use any fish that you want, be it a grouper, be it red snapper, no problem at all. Remember to pat your fish dry. And I have with me over here about 80 grams of white smidgy mushroom. You can use any kind of mushroom that you want. I'm just going to spread them around the fish. In case you're thinking of using other kinds of vegetables, my advice is to try to use other kind of mushroom will be good because Basically, other kinds of veg will be overcooked because we're going to steam the fish for about 8 minutes. Once you're done with this, we'll just place the ginger sauce over the fish. I want to show some of the fish, so I'm not just going to cover everything with the ginger paste sauce. Something like this would be nice, and I'm going to spread a little bit up to the mushroom, so that the mushroom will have some taste also. 
This is a good one dish meal because this has proteins and it has fiber, so it's very easy to prepare also. And this sauce, you can actually use it to steam fish or even chicken, no problem, or any kind of seafood at all. Once you're done with this, we'll boil some water and prepare to steam our fish. Now we're going to steam the fish. Make sure that your water is boiling. Over medium high or high heat, we'll place our fish in. Put on the lid and we'll steam this for 8 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. 8 minutes is up, let's have a look. Wow, look at how beautiful this is. Let's turn off the flame. Now all we have to do is just put the curd spring onions on top and then splash some hot oil onto it. Now we just spread some spring onions on top of the fish. Pour some hot oil on top of the spring onion. And it's time for our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Wow, smells fantastic. Let's give this a taste. A little bit of the ginger. Mm -hmm. I love how the ginger complements the fish. A little bit of spiciness from the ginger, plus the sweetness from the fish. This is really, really good. My wife actually doesn't like fish, but with this dish, she can actually eat a lot of rice. Let's try the mushroom now. Mm. Mushroom have absorbed the sauce beautifully. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. And now it's your turn to cook. See you. Bye-bye. Oh, sauce is really good.